The biggest bank in the world, which is coming, won't have any buildings and will have a lack of humans. When AI pumps into everything we're doing, it's going to dramatically change everybody's job. And don't sit there smugly, or we shouldn't, saying, ah, that'll be for those blue collars. And then I'm talking lawyers and doctors and high price stuff is coming even faster. It was this kind of drive to survive innately, I think, in me and medical technology combined that kind of got me to kind of who I was and where I got to. It was just everything I ever got in my life was just pure fight and pure drive. There wasn't any luck towards it. It was more like the harder I worked, the luckier I got. What I learned in business was that, you know, there was never a time, there was never a contract, there was never one thing that made us great or really big. There was just these very small little bullets and there was never one big cannonball. Moments in business and success will never come to you or often not come to you in big, big wins. Often some of you are starting companies and if you could just sign AT&T or you just sign this big client, it's all going to be a panacea of goodness. That's not true. Success is very, very small things. You hired a great employee, you did this, you made a little bit of revenue. Very small steps make success. Doing one thing well has been, I think, one of the things I tell entrepreneurs the most. The, the facts are, you, you, so many entrepreneurs start businesses and they like to do things all over the place. They, they, say, they, they say, look at how amazing this is, and then they say, and I've got something else. That never really works well. Instagram made pictures look great. They did one thing well, sold for billions. WhatsApp allowed you to communicate between flat platforms, did one thing well. Most businesses that you can name today, like Twitter, like Facebook, like anything successful that you know is a brand and it's really great, or look at Shopify, they do one thing well. You can only really do one thing well. And so if you're maniacally focused on doing one thing well, you'll probably do great. When I see entrepreneurs doing, trying to do five things well, they don't actually do well. And you'll think by predicting the future, you'll think by my, your brain works linear. It's very hard for our brains to work anything but linear. And this is the key to not understanding why the future will be so shockingly different. It's because by 2023, by Moore's Law, that $1,000 device, that iPhone, will be smarter than a human brain. That's shocking. What's more shocking by 2045, for $1,000, that same iPhone, the iPhone 45, will be smarter than all humans on the planet combined into one phone. That's a very profound thing that we're going to have to deal with. We have to get off this dependency on being this resource country. We desperately need to foster this kind of tech revolution. Because the people that we're paying to do technology are very high paid. People in Kitchener Waterloo in here, we need a fast train between our two places. We desperately need to make it so an arts degree is 3,000 bucks a year, but an engineering is 11,000. We actually need to switch that very quickly. We actually need to produce tons and tons of people in high tech in this country. We're going to be left behind. Because the future of technology is exponential, it's not linear. And it's going to crush a lot of industries. But we can take a nice jump on that.